everyone. This is Drew at Headset Advisor, and today I want to once and for all clear up the difference between the Voyager 5200 and the Voyager 5200 UC. You may have ordered the Voyager 5200 because it was at a lower price point, and now you may find yourself wanting to connect to, connect to the computer, but either you can't connect to the computer or you're connecting to the computer and you're having a less than ideal experience, meaning calls are cutting in and out, you're not able to answer and end calls away from your business app like Ring Central, Cisco, Avaya, Zoom, for example. Um, you bet you may be getting little to no wireless range. Now, when you buy the Voyager 5200, um, that doesn't include the small USB adapter. That's the exact experience you're going to have. Now, when you connect the headset to your laptop, that's unfortunately uh, just the case. Uh, every computer the Bluetooth is different, so it's different between all computers. Some may work okay, others not so much. But you'll certainly, you certainly won't get optimized features, like I had mentioned, like answering and ending calls away from the desk. And in some cases, you won't even be able to mute and unmute the headset without, uh, when you connect direct to the computer via Bluetooth. If your computer doesn't have, uh, if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth, then of course you won't be able to connect. Now the solution, uh, that everyone out there should be purchasing is this, uh, let me share my screen with you all, um, is this, uh, this variant. Uh, there's two variants here. You have the Voyager 5200 UC and you have the Voyager 5200. Now it's highly important which model you choose because it's going to, it's going to ultimately dictate how your experience is going to go. Um, when you choose the Voyager 5200, that's going to work great for your cell phone but it's not gonna work so great on your computer. If you get the Voyager 5200 UC, it includes a small USB adapter. And that USB adapter is so important to your experience of having the best sound quality, best wireless range, and, and the best overall experience and the optimized features uh, you wouldn't otherwise get when you're connecting direct uh, to the computer with the Bluetooth. Um, now, if you do already have the Voyager 5200 and you've experienced what I said in the beginning of this video, then the solution here is uh, you'll wanna get the USB adapter, which is sold separate, which is good news for you because instead of you buying a new headset, you could always get this USB adapter uh, separate and that's gonna be the fix to allow your Voyager 5200 um, to ultimately work as uh, best as possible on your computer if you're kind of just fed up with it, you've had the headset, you want to look in something new, certainly reach out to us here at Headset Advisor. Our contact information will be in the description of this video. And if this video was helpful, it would mean the world to me if you could hit the like button, subscribe, and leave us a comment with your thoughts or any questions you may have, and I'll certainly answer that. Um, we'll certainly answer that. It may not be me, but we'll certainly answer your questions in the comments of the vid this video. And if you want us to make any videos, um, that we haven't made yet, let us know and we'll certainly add it to our list. And thank you so much for watching this video.